Texas city leaders say Helene brought historic levels of damage to our area. In the hours and days that followed, emergency services took an historic number of calls. That includes the obvious calls for things like storm damage and people in need of rescue, but also for burglaries and looting. Your Will Rio breaks down how law enforcement responded. Since Hurricane Helene battered the CSRA, first responders have worked around the clock call after call. Times like this is when we need everybody to come together. In Richmond County says their deputies certainly answered those calls. One of our officers, uh, he was actually on patrol when the storm hit and he was responding to a tree that had fell through a house. Uh, and as he was responding, two trees and a power line fell on his patrol car uh, and he was entrapped. Uh, he was able to get out, uh, had to abandon his vehicle in that neighborhood for about a day and a half. Their call volume was historic. It, it was by far the most um, calls for service we responded to. According to Augusta 911, they answered 8,382 calls from September 26th through the 29th. On the 27th, the day Helene hit the CSRA, dispatchers picked up the phone more than 3,500 times alone, and some of those 911 calls weren't for storm damage. The opportunity was there um, for larceny, thefts, and um, things like burglary rather residential or business. Um, obviously, priority was safety, uh, people, the community. Deputies say they saw a 75% increase in burglaries and looting after the storm, including two family dollar stores. They were able to arrest more than 11 people connected to multiple burglary cases. The officers stepped up uh, when they heard the call for you know, assistance and came in on their off days and, and helped. Richmond County says they'll hold an after action plan to make adjustments for future possible disasters. We, we faced a lot of challenges, but I think we, we're going to learn from them and we're going to grow from them. In Augusta, Will Rio on your side. Just crazy amount of calls they were taking. We certainly do thank those first responders. Will just said 3,500 calls on the day Helene hit. And with roads, the conditions Oof. they were in the neighborhoods, the way they were, it was a tough time. And he's right. We do learn a lot we with do. situations like this. You know,